Japan belongs to a class of medications called benzodiazepines or mm -hmm. things. Is that what you meant by? Well, no, I was just reading it because it's right here. <laughs> oh, okay. In general, and I'm reading this right from a website, um, it says in general, these mm -hmm. types of medications are used in as a sedative or to decrease seizures or anxiety. Uh, basically used to treat seizure disorders. It helps to slow down the activity of the nerves in the brain and the central nervous system. And for me personally, having a lesion in my spine, naturally I'm on it to help my myoclonic jerking. So the side effects they describe as common for clonazepam uh, is clumsiness or unsteadiness, delayed reaction, dizziness or lightheadedness, drowsiness, increased watering of the mouth, muscle weakness, and unusual tiredness or weakness. And I can attest that most of those are true. Um, when you get into some other side effects that are less common, these ones don't happen very often, but they do, and they ha are actually listed, so I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, this drug can cause abnormal thinking, like disorientation, delusions, or loss of sense of reality. Uh, has not happened to me yet. <laughs> Anxiety uh, can cause behavior changes such as aggressiveness, agitation, unusual excitement, nervousness, irritability, confusion. It could cause seizures even though it's, not, like, it's used to prevent a type of seizures. Um, hallucinations, it can cause those as well. Uh, memory loss, or nightmares or trouble sleeping and signs of depression. It can cause poor concentration, changes in weight, changes in sleep, decreased in interest in activities, and thoughts of suicide. Again, none of those have happened to me. Uh, oh, and it can cause a cough. And then they say, of course, to always, if you have a severe allergic reaction, to stop taking the medication immediately. For those of you who may not know what a severe allergic reaction is, if you've never had one, it includes hives, difficulty breathing, or swelling of the mouth, tongue, lips, or throat. I actually uh, have a list of other medications here underneath that. Do you? Yeah, it's uh, Exanax, Clonopine, cl clon? Clonopine. It's really, I don't know why they come up with these freaking words. Like, anyway, it's K-L-O-N-O-P-I-N. Valium and Ativan are also underneath those, uh, that category, and Ativan is actually something, it's a fat releasing anxiety medication, which is, so yeah, it actually helps with, uh, anxiety as well, so yeah, no, it's in there, it just, it, it's underneath the same category as the benzodiazepines. <laughs> I know, I said it wrong too. Why don't we talk about one of the newer um, antidepressants on the market, Cymbalta, apparently has come out on the market in the last five years or so. And they really do think it's the new happy drug. Do you know anything about it? I don't think I've ever heard anything, but this is the faith of skepticism. <laughs> okay, I'm so... I'm all about how magic it is. It's supposed to replace two chemicals that don't actually get produced in your brain in a normal way. Like, your mm -hmm. body doesn't do it the way it should. It doesn't re like physically replace the chemicals, but it helps your body to naturally s make the amount that you're supposed to have or something. Okay. So one of them is serotonin, and I totally forget the other one because I couldn't pronounce it. They are really talking this drug up. I know two people on it that have attested to it actually working. However, I do have one person who told me Cymbalta for them was hell. It made them way more suicidal that on her way to see her doctor about the side effects she was having, she even, you know, she was in that suicidal state. <coughs> and it is used to treat depression and generalized anxiety disorders. It can also treat diabetes related nerve pain, fibromyalgia, chronic low back pain, and chronic pain from osteoporosis <laughs> of the knee with this transverse myelitis stuff and the fact now that I have to go to a TMJ specialist tomorrow and pay more money out of my own pocket to fix a problem that was fixed on a different medication it just like things never seem to end for me so yeah I have medication frustration I like that <laughs>
Um, and I could go on, literally, about side effects and and all this shit that can go wrong when you're on medications and whatnot. <laughs>